Hi there, it's Dave Warner from Warner Epoxy. We're here doing a sample. I got Zach here. He's going to help me out. He's uh, epoxy in training. So we're going to make uh, a granite piece. We're going to have a, a, a smoky beige uh, 2x rust oiling paint. You can get this on Amazon. You can click the link below. You can find that. We got the dark brown uh, bare premium plus paint. And then we got bright silver metallic. Uh, you can get that from Stone Coat. That link is below. And I also use the Stone Coat countertop heat resistant epoxy from Stone Coat. You can also click on the link below. And if you order $100 or more, you get $10 off if you use the code word Warner. Um, so here we go. We're going to do start out with a light beige, smoky beige, I think that was. I'm just going to add that in here. We'll just put some more over here. Oh, that's right. It's a lot smaller piece here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Let's spread this out, smear this on, and then we'll add some of the gray. We'll put some gray in here, some gray over here, gray over there. Oh, we got plenty of epoxy. Spread that out just a little bit here. Now we'll add the dark brown. Alright. Let's see. Maybe we want less dark brown. Let's spread some of this out a little more. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. I think uh, making it a little lighter would be adding more of this stuff. Do you want me to add a little more? Uh, I think we got enough on there. All right. I'm just going to spread what I got on there a little farther out so I can get less dry spots to hit. Yeah. Alright. Now what we're going to do... You know what? I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this. Sorry about that. Oh. Well, it's, um... Right here. And another step right through here. Alright. Now all else we're going to do is blend these colors. Just tap on them, stretch them out just a little bit. Cover up all the dry spots. Alright. Just like last time. So what do you think about epoxy, Zach? I think it makes stuff look cool. I, I definitely like it. it. It's it's amazing how much, like, how simple it seems and what you can get out of it. So you're saying anybody can do it? I I definitely think so. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool. The uh, you don't have to be an artist to work with epoxy. we got to do is get some more here on the edges. Yeah. Get a little more out of the cup. Seems to be a little dry. Alright. Once we get this on here, then we're going to do what we call uh, making it look like granite. Alright. Really 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 makes a piece come together when you start adding make it look like granite really get a little gray in there get that edge how's your edge doing oh you got your edge good all right we got everything covered here to get a close-up of what it looks like yep any other dry spots nothing that i can tell all right Uh, 
I'll smear some colors together here just a little bit. Just one or two spots here. All right. I think I like that. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Ready to go. We can make it come to life. Use the blowtorch on it. Yeah, let's, we can get the air bubbles out. Or we'll slow it in anyway. video don't pick that up but we uh, when you mix it you create air bubbles and air bubbles make holes in your epoxy so you don't want that so you take the blowtorch you'll do it three times before it's done and all them bubbles disappear so now we're going to take black spray paint and we got uh, silver metallic in the uh, in the spray bottle I got it mixed with 91% uh, isopropylene, no, I can't even say it, alcohol. So we're ready for this. Maybe we should get a close up of this one. Watch it work. So we're just gonna spray a little bit of black on here. And then we're gonna, uh oh, I forgot to squirt my bottle first. And we'll spray that on there and let it granify. Look at wow. that. Isn't that cool? Very nice. That is cool. Awesome. Look at those just expand. That was, I think, I think this is a winner right here. The yeah. last piece I think we did, we made it too dark. So this one we lightened it up. Instead of mixing coffee in the Alcohol, we mix silver. I think that did the trick. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to love this piece. Uh, the only other thing he wants on it, he's going to want some of these uh, mica flakes on it. Uh, we'll add these in a little bit. I want to make sure this is right before I add the mica flakes. We're just going to watch this for a little bit. Um, so we'll be right back. We're going to shut the video off and let this do its thing. We'll show you. Uh, what it looks like in 5-10 minutes. We'll turn the camera back on and then we will uh, put some mica flakes on it and then we'll torch it again. We'll see you in just a little bit. Well we're back and as you can see the granification process worked quite well. We're very pleased with this piece. We're going to continue on. I would say it was five, 5 minutes or so. I'm not sure. I wasn't really keeping track of time. But now we're going to just add just a little dinky um, silver gray vein through this. A little uh, Rust-Oleum uh, metallic spray. And we're going to add a little streak or two through here. We're going to put one right through there. I do one here in a corner. And what do you think? Are we on three in this one? Um, maybe from like here to that one. Yeah. All right. Now the only other thing we got to add is a little bit of white. Mica flakes. And I wouldn't call this one good night. Alright. Oh, see, look at there. We still got one of the little snake eyes showing up right there. Get that surface tension broke and I had these flakes. What do you think? Looking good. Alright. My hands are too sticky. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the torch on there. You want to do that, Zach? I need the torch. Sure. All right, just fire it up. Make sure you're not on the piece when you start it up, and then. All right. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We'll do 
do that one more time. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. And then we'll give the customer call and tell him his sample piece is ready. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell, subscribe so you get notifications for the future one. And pretty soon you'll see Zach doing them all by himself. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.